In this video, we are talking about the partial pressure of gases, the partial pressures of gases. So what does that mean? Well, when you have a mixture of two or more gases in a container, then the total pressure in that container of the gas is just the sum of what we call the partial pressures of the gases. Now, the partial pressure of a gas in a mixture, it's just the pressure that that gas would exert in that same container, so that means the same volume, um, under the same conditions, the same temperature, um, and the same number amount, same number of moles of that, that individual gas. And so we can write it this way. The total pressure in a container, P sub T is the total, is equal to the partial pressure of gas A plus the partial pressure of gas B plus however many gases there are, just the sum of the partial pressures, just keep on adding them up. So let's see what that means. So we know that inside of a container, the pressure inside that container that contains a gas is due to the sum of all the little particles of gas hitting the inside of that container. And so if we have a mixture of two gases, so the magenta gas and the orange gas, whatever they are, and they're moving around doing the things gases do. Remember the kinetic molecular theory, moving in straight lines until they hit something, bouncing off, all that good stuff. And they're both exerting pressure inside this container because they're both bouncing off the inside of this container. Now, if we imagine taking all of the orange gas out and just having the magenta there by itself, whatever pressure that magenta gas, whatever it is, would exert, same volume, same temperature, same amount of that gas, would be the partial pressure of that gas, let's call it gas A. And then the partial pressure of the other gas, gas B, would just be the pressure that that gas would exert if it were in the same container under the same, con same conditions all by itself. So the total pressure is just the sum of the partial pressures. That's, by the way, that, there's a name for that, that law, the total pressure, and that is Dalton's Law of Partial Pressures. That's the name. It's not so important that you actually remember the name and see it, you remember what it says. But that's what it is. Now, we can calculate the partial pressure of a gas if we know the total pressure in that container, and usually that's that's doable. Um, we can put a gauge on it, or if it's open to the atmosphere, um, then it, or it's, it's the same pressure as the atmosphere, we can measure the atmospheric pressure by reading a barometer. And so the partial pressure of one of the gases is just the number of moles of that gas divided by the total moles of gas in that container times the total pressure. So you know the moles of gas A and the total moles and the total pressure, we can plug into this equation and we can calculate the partial pressure of gas A. So memorize this equation, and we can do an example. So we have a sealed metal cylinder, and in there there's 0.35 moles of neon and 0.93 moles of argon. Total pressure in there is 1.88 atmospheres. We want to find the partial pressure of neon. Well, that equation I just showed you tells us that the partial pressure of neon will just be the moles of neon divided by the total moles times the total pressure. Well, the number of moles of neon is 0.35, the total number of moles, there's only two gases, so it's to be the moles of neon plus the moles of argon, right here, which adds up to be 1.28 moles, I believe. And I gave you the total pressure, 1.88. So if we plug into this equation here, partial pressure of neon, 0.35 over 1.28 times 1.88 atmospheres. Notice the units of moles cancel, or left at the unit of atmospheres. Now, if this is an atmosphere, this is like millimeters of mercury, tor, what have you, then that's just the unit that we'll get for our partial pressure. But in this case we get 0.51 atmospheres for the partial pressure of neon. We could do the same thing for um, argon if we wanted to. Now another th thing that we can do with Dalton's law of partial pressures is if we know the total pressures let's say and the partial pressure of one of the gases we can find the partial pressure of the other. So let's say we have a total um, pressure of 1.44 atmospheres in a mixture of helium and nitrogen. And we know the partial pressure of helium, 0.89 atmospheres, we want to find the partial pressure of nitrogen. 
So Dalton's law of partial pressures just tells us that the total pressure is equal to the partial pressure of helium plus the partial pressure of nitrogen. Rearranging this to solve what we, for what we want, which is the partial pressure of nitrogen, we subtract the partial pressure of helium from both sides, and we get partial pressure of nitrogen is equal to the total pressure minus the partial pressure of helium, plugging in 1.44 atmospheres for the total pressure, 0.89 atmospheres for the partial pressure of helium, we get the partial pressure of nitrogen, 0.55 atmospheres.